I'm back at the store and I'm shopping for the fabric for the third look which is gonna be with that corset that I've made which looks like this and I'm looking kind of for like a shimmery pink or like a shimmery gold fabric and I don't think I'm gonna do dupatta with this one but we'll see would have wanted this one so bad but it's so expensive oh my god it would have looked so good this one is also a really good one this sort of looks like on the front <sighs> but this one's also too expensive this shiny one might be the best option although this does give like a little bit of red pinkish tint i don't think that should be a big problem but there's the only one that i can find within my budget that matches i got the bag it is right here i got the pink cotton fabric and the gold glitter fabric that i showed you guys and then we're just gonna make a full circle skirt out of it I got the fabric for look number three, and the top for this look is already done. It's just this cute, it's this cute corset, which I also have a video of on my channel of me making this cute little thing. And this, I am kid you not, I literally kid you not, this has to be the most like neat and I don't want to say complex, but yeah, complex because. I had to use like boning and stuff and I've never done that before so this was a really good experience for me like making this and I documented the whole process and it's up on my channel it's called the making of a, like making a corset from scratch I believe um which will be linked in the description and I also showed you guys a photo of this before when I was shopping for the fabrics so this is a top it's just one less thing for me to make and people have also like not seen this top that i've made because i haven't worn it anywhere necessarily so the skirt for this is gonna be pretty simple because hello she's the star of the show look at her so cute and i tried to color match okay it's kind of hard to color match with fabrics because there's not a lot of options but i'll show you guys what i got i always put fabrics on my shoulders like those people in india when they like sell saris and stuff i don't know maybe it's like a learned behavior but this is the pink, which I think matches, but like in person, there is like a slight um, difference, but you can't really tell because it's a pretty neat match. And because there's gold on the corset, I bought this like gold see-through <laughs> fabric. Uh, it's very see-through, very, very, very. And this is like five yards, I believe. And this one was not five yards. This was like 3.7 basically, or 3.8, basically four yards. And I was planning on making both of these circle skirts. I don't like scrunching or ruffles. I've made a lot of ruffle skirts, like a majority of my skirts are ruffle skirts. And it is just not the most pleasant experience. And I don't want to do it again for this one. So... I'm just praying somehow my genius mind will figure it out like I always do, but <laughs> just sharing my concerns. So we'll see how that goes. And I also bought this sparkly cute little fabric that has like pink pearls on it. I bought this for this outfit, the first outfit that I made because I got feedback that the top was a little bit plain and stuff and I wanted to add like pearls or like something and I thought adding a dupatta as like a cape would look so cute like the little girl just walking and just like dragging behind her I thought it'd be so cute but now that I think about it I think it would be too much so this matches the corset and the color scheme that I have going on which is awesome Props to me for keeping the color scheme going, but having get a cape like this because the corset is like literally like a what's it called? Bandeau top. Yeah, it's sleeveless, it's just like a top, right? So I thought a cape like this, maybe attached by like a pearl or something, and then it would look so cute. Like it looks so cute. Oh my gosh, so I might just do that. I still haven't decided where I'm gonna use this, but you guys will find out. Probably for the corset, cause I don't wanna go buy another one. I already have one, you know? Yeah. 
you guys have seen me make circle skirts from literally the beginning of time and i probably will make circle skirts till the end of time and honestly you guys should be able to make a circle skirt just by watching me make so many circle skirts i've done the easy part i've cut the skirt out and i've also cut the waistband which is really long but i kind of did that on purpose so that i can just trim as i go now it is time to cut this open beret that it's long and big enough long enough as i was using the chalk to mark where i was supposed to cut it it was literally going on my freaking like blanket and it wouldn't stay on the fabric which is like kind of funny but it ended up working out and i just cut it a little bit shorter than i was supposed to cut it it wasn't that bad but it did end up being a little too short and i think i'm gonna go back and add a panel because i'm five inches short on this so i still have a lot of fabric left so i'm gonna go cut a panel of like five inches and then add it to the add it to this like i did with look number two here I'm adding the panel that I cut to the skirt to make it longer. See, this is just like one of those tedious steps that I have to do that's extra. If the fabric was long enough, I wouldn't have to do this extra stuff, but oh well. And now I just made the waistband and you guys know my famous, not it's not really famous, but my spray and stick method. I just made that up as I was sitting here. And then I added the zipper, which I'm like basically an expert of nowadays. And then I added the waistband, pretty simple, you know, usual, basic stuff that I do with every circle skirt. The skirt is finally done. This is what it looks like. And this is what they look like together. Now, let's go do the final fitting on my model and see how it looks on her. I'm gonna go do the final fitting for my third model. Yes, third model. And I will show it to you guys too, don't worry. This is what it looks like, so pretty, and obviously she won't be wearing the tank top underneath on the day of the show. But my only thing with this outfit is that I wish the glitter would stand out a little bit more on the skirt rather than the pink, but it still looks pretty. So that was the final fitting, and obviously in all these outfits that I'm making, there's like minor adjustments that I'm literally leaving all the way at the end, like... Probably like a couple days before the show, I'm going to do all the minor adjustments, which is probably a bad idea, but oh well, that's my strategy for now. But yeah, that was the final fitting. And now it's time to make look number four and the palette for this. The color palette is going to be red, which is a little bit different from the outfits that I've made so far, so should be exciting.